Hello and welcome back to Fast Gadgets. Hopefully you can hear me okay. My neighbor's out there mowing. Unfortunately, she tends to mow pretty much every day with her huge hunk and riding mower. But anyway, um, hopefully my lavalier will be okay and you won't hear all that mowing sound. But anyway, I wanted to show you, uh, this is my Yoga 910 by Lenovo. So you see here right now, that I am in Windows, and of course everything's running fine currently. However, that's only in Windows 10. So if you read the title of the video, you probably already figured out that unfortunately, uh, my Fedora installation uh, was totally beaten up by a update. So I did an update, and I'm gonna reboot here in just a minute and show you, but I wanted to let you know that this is not a hardware issue because of course, everything's working great here in Windows 10, so it definitely is not a hardware situation. I have full control of the computer and everything's beautiful. But wait till you see when I switch over and go into Linux. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now this may be a short video. I'm hoping it's only gonna be short because everything is fixed. Here's why I'm saying that. Uh, basically what what I'm gonna do here is it's been about two weeks since the program the problem surfaced and oh I love this so basically the last time I went to prepare to shoot this video I got the same message and I had to wait well over 20 minutes and of course I'm on battery my luck so we're gonna wait this out and as soon as this gets done, I'll be right back. So I'm not gonna run the video while we're waiting for Windows to get ready because it could be as much as a half hour. So it's been about 10 minutes and as you can see, things are just going at an astronomical pace. Now I have set my period of time when I do not allow updates, but uh, I think I set it till 8 p.m. So it makes sense that it's doing updates now. But the thing is, I really need to have a computer that I can get to quicker and not have to wait for this. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on so you can see firsthand what's going on. We're gonna go directly into Fedora. And here is my plan. I'm gonna boot this baby into Fedora, let you see the damage from the last update. It's coming right about now. Uh, there we go. You see that flickering on the screen? It gets even worse. It's doing the weirdest things now. So let's put in a password. It doesn't seem to matter which desktop environment I use. Now, I haven't done any updates. And here's the other thing that was really strange. Um, it's it's kind of curious. Now things seem kind of to be working, but basically I would reboot it and the entire screen would flip upside down and I tried to do some research on that. I couldn't find out anything. So I'm not really clear as to why the odd flickering has settled down now. I'm thinking what I'll do just to push my luck because that's the kind of guy I am. I'm gonna go ahead and log off because, and usually when I switch desktop environments, Things don't really go that well. There you go, now you see it. Normally that happens in the desktop environment itself. When I go from GNOME to Plasma, I don't usually have good results, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, and we're gonna see if we get that peculiar flickering in GNOME. And this happened when I did an update about two weeks ago. It's been somewhat of a problem. Now here again, I cannot believe this, because normally, this desktop would immediately flip over and I couldn't do anything. It was really strange. So um, the mouse would still be the right way, but nothing else. We'll enter in this password real quick. So you can see the flickering. So here's what I'm hoping. And of course the, uh, 
everything screwed up because I was just in GNOME. So for whatever reason, this system doesn't do all that great when you switch back and forth between desktop environments, but it really should. That's the thing. My older Lenovo Yoga 2 did just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do a sudo bash. And I'm going to do a yum update. We're going to have a look and see what needs to be updated. Now what's interesting is if I wiggle the mouse, the problem seems to go away. So I'm going to stop wiggling the mouse. And you can see right away the screen starts flickering really bad. And I wiggle the mouse and it goes away. I did have a driver issue on my Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro like this. And it never really got fixed in Fedora. I ended up buying the new system. It was only really showing up when I would do video capture. And uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to do an update here. And this may take a little while. I'm out on my deck and I don't have the best internet connectivity out here. You can see it's pretty low. Let's see. Who, okay, I'm connected to Electric Eye 3. That's important because Electric Eye 3 5 is a little different. Okay, so let's see what we've got for updates here. We've got kernel. NFS, bunch of Mesa stuff, Mesa, might help, um, more kernel stuff, there was already a kernel update, glibc, no, more kernel stuff, oh boy, well, one can hope, right, I'm going to say yes to that, it's only 166, now there you go, now things are starting to get really weird, I'm going to put in a Y for yes, at least the screen isn't flipped over, and there was nothing I could do to reverse it. it. The screen stayed flipped over all the time. I mean, it was really, really a hoot. Make sure that's bright enough so you can see well. And you can see my resolution isn't correct right now. Some of the stuff is super large, and that's artifacts from having booted into GNOME first and then coming back. And... booting into KDE. Now here's the other thing, man. This, You see all these right here? Now when I click something, it creates another note. And the bad thing about these notes, I can't see all the stuff. Like I can change the appearance. I can do the font. But there's really nothing to delete it. And if I'm not mistaken, what happened before was basically a part of the note, the widget was invisible. I want to say if I change the color or something. Notice it's now been resized. Now I did not resize that. I moved it over and now I can't move it. Now I can move it. Let's try a different color. Really isn't making any difference. Can I right click it? I can clear the contents of the note, but I can't really get rid of the note. Um, always makes for a very interesting fun. And I notice I've got no widgets here, so maybe it'll be fixed after I do a reboot. Now, Initially, this really ticked me off, but I thought about it, and I thought, you know, I've got a very new system, and we all know Linux isn't that great with newer systems. And I know many of you are going to comment and say, no, 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 Linux is really awesome with newer systems. It's kind of luck of the draw. I mean, first, it depends on what distro you're running. Secondly, it really does depend on what hardware you're running on. So it's a variable, and that's not a big deal. So I kind of said, you know what, I'm just going to do an update and see what happens after I do the update. I'm going to wait a week or two, do the update, and if the update doesn't do it, I'm going to blow it away because I've already backed this system up. I have a portable hard drive, and I use the portable hard drive 
and I backed up my entire user folder. So I have nothing to lose. I can just blast it and reinstall Linux and get back in business quickly. It can be a combination of the software I have installed. I rather would rather not have to do a reinstall because I have a lot of stuff set up here the way I like it. I don't really want to go back and do all that, but I mean, if I do have to, well, I do. But I'm kind of hoping this update will make right what's been wrong. See, now it's not flickering. The only thing I can think of is because it's busy. So whenever, like I said, I move the mouse, it doesn't do the flickering. While I'm sitting here, I'm going to check out what resolution this thing thinks it's running at. Because I always run KDE at 4K resolution. And by the way, I just want to say, ooh, whoops. Whoops, not cool. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, so if I reboot, it's going to be fine. Uh, let's see, can I close this? Not really. Some of my widgets are missing. We've got a regular party going on here. Uh, Alt F4 doesn't work. Control Escape. This makes it worse. And now I can't get to that screen. So I'm going to let it do its updates. I'm going to reboot. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, now I remember. If, if you are watching the reviews on the new MacBook Pros, I just want to say for the record, if you hear anybody say that the retina screen is super sharp, and I'm going to say this is my opinion, I have a retina, and it is sharper, but... I really do like, oh, I can't even do a power off. Let's see if I can just do a normal shutdown then. Yeah, see, it's getting really nasty now. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to... Okay, maybe. Settings of the current module, discard. Anyway, uh... If you look at a 4K resolution screen, this, this computer is 4K, and you look at the resolution, which is basically like a 2K of a Retina, I'm here to tell you the sharpness of this Yoga 910, and I talked about it in my review, and I'm sure there's other computers out there that have beautiful 4K displays, are unbelievable. And the fact that Microsoft released the Surface Laptop with a 2K resolution screen astounds me. And there are a lot out there who super duper defend. Let's see if we get any blinkies before we even lock in. Defend to the hilt anything Windows does. So, you know, people call me a um, fanboy of Linux. Um... I'm not a boy, I'm a man, and, uh, you know, I admire and make use of Linux because it is a utility, right, much like a car or whatever, and I actually admire and make use of Windows, and I admire and make use of... Anyway, uh, looks like we ran into trouble again, so I'm going to go ahead and type in my password, and... We are going to log in with KD. I'm thinking that GNOME looked okay. Uh, so KD has been my favorite desktop environment now for quite some time. But if honestly I could make... Boingy boing, 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 boing. If I could make use of KDE for a little while if it's not going to be doing this, because I think with KD, the default, of course, is using Wayland. Let's open something, a folder or something, see what happens. Okay, so, yeah, as long as I'm moving the mouse, everything seems fine. 
minute we come to a stop we got an issue now one thing I do like to do which I think I'll take a moment here and do is just do another quick check with that kernel update see if there's any new updates we'll do sudo dnf update and I have tried different kernels just to let you know so it's not a kernel issue something has clearly went wrong and it's I don't think it's a KDE issue either which is interesting okay so here's why okay so if I log out here we're using xorg right now so I am going to log out I like how you have to say log out twice and we'll just go for regular gnome Gun gnome. And we're going to log in. Look at that. No blinkies. Uh, this has not been behaving this good at all. And there's my pet peeve with Gnome. It does not scale the apps correctly uh, like KDE does. So I always have to do this kind of stuff and then. Shift control plus 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 plus. It's not that bad. It's I mean it's usable. I can survive with it. So I guess I could use GNOME for a while if I want to edit here. But what I've been doing and why I was saying that I like the Mac and and Windows on a PC and Linux, because this one's a dual boot, right? Uh, the main reason is because I use whichever one works for me. They're just tools, and uh, I'm not a fanboy or a fan man because I just don't get all caught up in loving on one or the other, and I certainly don't really care much for giant corporations, although they can innovate at times. You know, I like Linux the best, and, and it's kind of put a hamper on things for me, so what I've been doing in the meantime is using my Mac to do editing and stuff like that. And I have iMovie on there, and I did get Final Cut Pro, and I I can learn Final Cut Pro. You know, I wanted to have it for some video rendering tests to compare against Caden Live because I really like Caden Live the most. So it just depends, you know. I had a lot of fun setting up my environment here. I, you know, put these cute little icon thingies on, and. I changed my icon set. I know you're going to ask me. I have no clue which one I have anymore. I did this like a month ago. Uh, but anyway, I guess this is better than it has been. I mean, the screen was flipped, but the mouse was not flipped. So this is a stretch better. Way, way, way better than it was. So I can live with this. Um, and I can work in GNOME. Let's open Caden Live, just make sure she'll launch. It's not as pretty as it is in KDE. Not an issue for me, I don't really care. I just need to be able to get my work done and my favorite editor is Caden Live. So I'm gonna hold off a little while before I blow this sucker away. I'm gonna see if I can get KDE working again, maybe do an uninstall of the whole group and reinstall it play around with it. I got nothing to lose. Everything's backed up, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I like bringing this stuff to you. If you did like it, consider sharing it. If you really liked it, buy me a cup of coffee for a buck a month on patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets. Or just drop me a comment, honestly. Um, I do enjoy doing it. So I'll see you next time.